the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nob is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you four steps in becoming a grinding master. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Nob when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us make better videos. Okay, guys, so are you ready? You just follow these steps, and I assure you that you will grind really, really fast. So we're gonna start with this level 1 account, and for my first step, master the art of wall strat. So guys, how do you do it? Just lure an enemy into a wall. Here it is, and don't worry, there are no damages. Hopefully, they don't update this one. Also, if ever your enemy has long-range attacks, avoid attacking him too fast, creating distance. If you do this, he will use his long-range attack. Wait, gamer, so is there a way for him not to use his long-range attack? Yes, there is. Answer to this one is just click slowly. There you go, guys. So guys, click slowly and that's it. Also, you can use 2 times codes if you want. 2 times experience code. For example, Axor. There you go. This one is for newbies, okay? So guys, check this out. Just one. Galley Parrot and your level, I think you'll reach level uh, 20 plus here. We just want Galley Parrot, okay? That's one. So guys, first step, keep on defeating Galley Pirates, right? This will also work in some bosses. For example, guys, in the Marine Fortress, the boss here is Vice Admiral, right? I'm gonna show it to you. I won't skip anything here. Just fast forward. There you go. Just lure him. Guys, check this out. I'm level 36. Imagine level 36 defeating a level 130 boss. There you go. Lure him properly. This boss has long range attacks. But we will just be using our left clicks. And again, click slowly. Okay, so fast forward guys. Check it out. He will not be using his long range attack even once. Okay, there you go. Just again, click slowly. And that is enough. There you go. Okay, guys. So, Gamer Nom, are there other bosses that you can use this strategy? Yes, guys. For example, uh, the one in the Underwater City. Yes, Fishman Lord. Minimal damage. Sorry, guys. There's minimal damage here because of his skill. Check this out. The damage is, I think, 300. There you go, guys. See that? Again. There you go. Again, for the M1 clicks, no damage. But for his skill... There you go, 321. Not bad, right? We can tank that. Just add some stats to your defense. So we will be defeating this fast. So guys, again, as you can see, using wall strat is really good. Don't worry, this is just the first step. Also in the prison, there are three bosses there. The Chief Warden. Actually, this is uh, level 230 boss, right? So this one, this strategy works at him. There you go. Let's not forget the Warden. Here it is, just a proof. There you go. Okay. So again, you can use your combat if you want. This boss, Warden Chief Warden, doesn't have long range attacks. So you can click fast. Not like this one. Same with Fishman Lord. It has a skill. So make sure that you can tank his skill or the damage of his skill. There you go, this one. This is kind of high. Maybe 200 to 300 plus damage. But again, wall strat is effective. Okay, so a similar strategy, and we call it the stone strat. So guys, just jump here. Okay, so first you can attack him and dash back for you to dodge his cannon. You cannot aim properly here. There you go, as you can see. You're able to attack him, damage him, and then dash back. Wait for him to attack, and defeat him. Okay, so that is number one tip. So for number two, it's kind of connected with the boss's server hop. So again, focus on bosses. So technique here, just leave the server after defeating the boss and rejoin any server. Pray that the boss is still alive. <laughs> For example, Vice Admiral, here you go. Again, spawn as a marine because you will spawn near the quest giver and near the boss. So guys, for the first C here in the list, starting from Yeti, you can do server hop. 130 to 220 Vice Admiral, 220 to 350 Warden, Chief Warden Swan, 350 to 425 Magma Admiral, Level 4, 25 to 500 Fishman Lord, and 500 to 625 Whisper. Wait, Gamer Nom, where is the Thunder God? Guys, I did not include him because check this out. We're gonna defeat this dude. 
defeating him is not that hard. There are no wall strats here or whatsoever. But guys, check this out. If you're gonna do server hop right, you defeated him. Okay, so we're gonna do, let's say, server hop and then spawn. Guys, he is so far away, right? So I think it took me like 20 seconds just to reach Thunder God. Also, you will get another quest. And again, this boss has the pole, right? So there are lots of players in the public server that hunts the pole. So guys, there's a chance that he's already dead. And again, you will waste 20 to 30 seconds just to check if he is alive, right? Waste of time. Okay, step number three, use elemental blocks fruits. Okay, you know why elemental blocks fruits? Guys, in the first C, the best fruit is light fruit. I'm telling you guys, not Buddha, it's light fruit. Second and third C, okay, it's Buddha. Maybe third C magma, but yeah, okay, let's count Buddha. So only three mobs that has hockey in the first C. Again, this guide is for the first C only. So for the mobs in the Fountain City, we have the Galley Captain, right? Guys, uh, I'm not sure if uh, I was able to identify all the mobs that has Haki. Next one is located in the Magma Village. Guys, check this out. Military Soldiers. There's a chance that one of them will spawn with the Haki. So as you can see, the previous one has no Haki. This one has Haki. There you go. So if you're elemental, it's not really good to grind here. The other remaining mob is located in this island, and that is the military spies. There you go. So they're easy to defeat, but again, they have hacky, so I don't suggest this. Just do server hop. And for our fourth and final step, choose the easier quest. Guys, always choose the easier quest. I'm gonna give you an example, okay? So in the final island, the Fountain City, don't do cyber quests or galley captains. Why? Guys, I'm gonna do the galley pirate quest, okay? Okay, be patient. Check it out, guys. Already started the timer. So, guys, check check this out. They're easy to defeat. There you go. I will time it. No fast forwards. No cuts. So, guys, as you can see, we've already defeated three, right? Oh, four, five, six. There you go. Seven. Oh, there, uh, it hasn't spawned yet. There you go. And eight. So, guys, as you can see, it, almost, uh, it only took us 30 seconds to finish one quest, right? And that is slow. I can make it faster. But comparing it to the galley captains, guys, start the timer. Why? Because, guys, you're gonna travel, go to their location. So, what if you're using Buddha? That's kind of slow, right? So, just going to their location, already spent 10 seconds, and we're gonna defeat them again, guys. This mob has Haki. So, if you're using Light Fruit, they will damage you. There you go. Again, guys, this one looks fast because. Uh, we're at max level <laughs> anyways I made a mistake here I just recorded and defeated eight only defeated eight enemies so the timer should be longer okay so after that that's just eight we're gonna reset because we will spawn near the quest giver I don't want you coming back because that's a lot longer but there you go guys we're just uh, near the quest giver and the timer is 47 seconds guys I think this will reach even 50 to 60 if you defeated nine more examples, uh, the monkey quest be better than gorilla quest, fishman warriors compared to commandos, snow bandits compared to snowman. Also server hopping with the vice admiral instead of killing mobs in the skyline. So guys, I hope that this guide helps you. Do you want part 2 at the second C? Just comment it in the comment section. And again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out!